What's up, guys? That's right. It's me, Mr. Gonzalez. Anyway, I want to talk to you guys about anxiety because lately I've been feeling a lot of anxiety over this whole entire coronavirus. So it's natural to feel anxious. It's a natural feeling when you're faced with a crisis or something's not right or something's your routine is kind of broken up. It's it's normal to feel that form of anxiety. I go through it all the times. My kid goes through it all the times. It's natural. Um, so I want to talk to you a little bit about that, about the anxiety you're going through right now with this whole COVID-19 thing and what's been going on. It kind of gives you some strategies to go ahead and kind of work through that. I also have information that I'm going to post for your parents too. So this kind of lesson plan is actually for you and your parents and your whole family actually. So when I'm done, I'm actually going to post a link to a, a PowerPoint presentation that I'm attached to it that you guys can keep, look and use and let your parents use with you. It's for them as well. So let's get right into it. Let's talk about what anxiety is. Anxiety, it alerts us. Um, it prompts us to adapt to certain situation that we're in. Um, it's a normal emotion, like I said, and it serves as a signal to pay attention so we can protect ourselves. Um, sometimes my anxiety turns into fear or it turns into anger sometimes because sometimes I don't know how to deal with it. So a lot of times I'll start off like this guy right here. Where I'm not really sure, kind of looking at things, and then suddenly I'll turn to this guy right over here and get me angry. When I get really, really angry, it goes like this. <laughs> when really I want to be like that, just happy, mind my own business and go about my day. But sometimes I can't. That anxiety can be crippling sometimes. You feel me? So, especially since now we're actually going to school at home. So I know your parents probably ain't going through a lot of anxiety too, trying to teach you guys and keep you up with what's going on in school for your success. I'm doing the same thing with my kids, except we're doing it better at IICSN. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk to you about is structure. Now, some students may consider this little break like the summer or summer break. It's not. Some of you guys might have some difficulty understanding that. You still have to work hard, okay? So I'd like to try to make it as easy as possible with the remainder of the school year, which is not really not that long, okay? Um, the easiest way to do that is to come up with a schedule for weekdays and even including weekends. Um, I want to read some of the schedules I have right here right now. So bear with me while I read this because I, I, I don't want to forget it. And I want you to understand the whole full concept of it. So, okay. So the first thing I do is I establish a school day educational schedule. And what that means is I would either have a meeting with my, with my children's teachers or with my kids of what the activities are today, what's expected from them from the teacher, what's expected from them from myself, and how we're going to go through our day, pretty much, since I'm home with them. So I love that structure, and, I, and they seem to do well with that. I suggest you do that. So here's parent tip number one. Parents, try to make a 30 to 45 minute block of educational time and really work on those subjects with your children if you have the availability to. I try to do it sometimes, and sometimes I can't, but most of the time, my children love it. I'm involved with that. So parents, try and do that. It might make your life a little easier, and it'll definitely help out with um, your kids. Um, teachers and schools provide students with more than over six hours of educational work every single day, so let's try to stick to that if you possibly can. It's going to be a challenge, but I know you can do it. Okay, so I'll give you an example of what my morning would be like when I'm discussing with my children or their teachers, okay? So a sample morning in my house could include math, followed by a walking break, or possibly playing a game for about 10 minutes. So after that math lesson, we'll jump right into something fun, kind of break up the monotony a little bit. Right after that, we're rolling the social studies. Now, I like to include current events because I'm not gonna hide things, I want my kids to know what's up, but I make sure this news and the sources that I get are accurate. What's going on now, things change every day, so I'm really trying to look out there for reliable news sources, and I only quote facts. So that can be challenging sometimes with some of the um, news feeds that we're getting right now, but I try to stick to the facts only. Now, following social studies, once we're done, we'll actually take a break and I'll do some jumping jacks, we'll move around, get that blood flowing, kind of like I said, break up the monotony. Um, and then right after that, we'll jump into science. After science, we'll then go ahead and take a lunch break. During my lunch break with my children, I'll go ahead and incorporate math in science in a sneaky little way, and I'll show you exactly how I did it. 
the last time we made lunch today, we took a break for lunch and I had my children help me make it. And while we were doing that, I was actually pulling lessons out of it and teaching them. So what I did was I either used the, I let them know they could either use the internet or whatever books we had in the house, whatever book, dictionary, encyclopedia, whatever, or the internet to the, to the answer. So it was kind of like an open book test. And what the questions were was, number one, where does food come from? List as many places as you can. You can do the same thing. Follow with me, okay? Number two, how was bread made from a farm to your kitchen table? So my daughter decided to make homemade bread today, and she did a fantastic job. It was excellent. So that was a great question. How does bread, where does bread come from? How do we make it? You can do the same thing. What transportation is required to get the food to the store and to your home? Number four, what workers are involved in the supply chain? What government agencies are responsible to assure food safety for number five? And number six, what is pasteurization? Or we'll start asking some math questions, math questions, or I'm sorry, math and science questions. And those questions will consist of this. What happens to vegetables when they're, when they're heated? Number one. Number two, why do we cook meat? Number three, does cooking help reduce germs and why? How, does, how much more is 360 degrees than 120 degrees? At what temperature does water boil? If you have a non-digital thermometer, what is the liquid substance inside made of? So right there, I covered math, science. My other questions covered social studies and a couple of events that were happening. Um, so right after lunch, guess what we do? Recess. That's right, we have recess in my house. And what we do is have fun. We try to make it as fun as possible. Since the weather's been so nice, we've been going out, doing lots of things around the house, working around the yard, having a catch with my kids, listening to my girls sing, uh, playing instruments in my house, whatever it is to occupy our time that's fun, we do. So right after recess, we get into a short little round of language arts, then we go into reading and writing practices, and I try to make it as much fun as possible for my kids to do that. I use comic books, I use whatever we have, including the curriculum that the teachers give us to work with as well. Now, remember, always check with your teachers and make sure that you're following their instructions, doing their work as well. This is just something extra to kind of take away the boredom once you're done. And what I'm giving you right now are just examples of what you can actually structure your day with. Of course, you can change around to fit whatever your needs are. I'm not sure if your parents are working or not. So whatever fits you, do it. Just as long as you are doing something to keep your schedule going and keep your day productive. So parent, I have another tip for you. So parent tip number two, what I would do to conclude my, my, my children's day was I would actually give them a homework assignment. I kept it fun. What that homework assignment really is, is a recap of what we did today. Tell me about what we did was the best part of it. I'm kind of work from there and I kind of make it as much fun as possible. And a lot of times the feedback I get is <laughs> it's, it's amazing because they're so into it and there's, there's so many different things we can do from and we learn from it. So I kind of love that part and they really look forward to doing it as well. Um, the next thing I like to talk about is exercise and social contact because we still need to do those things. Some kids may be sitting around watching TV, playing video games. I know my kids started doing that, but I let them when it's when they earn it. They add, they know that education comes first. So yeah, it's kind of a reward, and I'm not going to take it from them. But they have to do their work first, no matter what. So a lot of what the our exercises. We play games a lot, and I don't mean just board games. We play tag, we run around, we walk our dog. We're very physical and very active. And I suggest you do the same thing. It helps a lot. It's good for your mind. It's good for your body. Keep moving. Um, I put a link in the PowerPoint that I'm that I'm posting with this um, video, and it gives you suggestions on how to have social contact with friends virtually. It actually sets up play dates where you and friends can actually meet together and go over school work and other things that you like to talk about. All I ask is that parents, if you do stuff like that, kind of monitor what they do and how much time they do it. Of course, always share content too. You always want to be safe no matter what. Um, during this quarantine, parents, here's another tip. Um, you can help your, your, your kids connect with their friends. That's not a problem. Just kind of watch what they do, whether it's on phone, tablet, or computer. Be involved, know who they're talking to. You guys can reach out to me. I'm sure you've been reaching out to your teachers. I have my own Google Classroom. You can post whatever you want in there. Email me personally, and um, I'll get right back to you. So that's kind of a, a rundown of what we do in my home that kind of works for us. It has been kind of crazy. 
It has been boring. I am just glad that I work for an amazing school like IICSN, where Dr. Mail has put things in order and your teachers have been all over it and you're still seeing me, your counselor. So I just want you guys to understand how much I appreciate you. For, thank you so much for letting me be your counselor and letting me participate and come into your lives like that. Um, if you need me, you can either text me. Some of you have text already. Just text me back at that number. The ones who have emailed already, just send me back those emails. Some of you have, and then we'll take it from there. Like I said, once we find out more, we're going to let you parents know and let you students know exactly what to do. One other reminder, though, registration is open. I believe registration days. Sorry about that. Iron Man was done. Registration days are Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from the hours of 8 to 12 p.m., and the phone lines are open. If you have any problems whatsoever getting through, please contact me, and I'll do my best to help you register. Any comments, questions, or concerns, please contact Mr. Gonzalez at Gerard underscore Gonzalez at IICSN.org. Once again, Gerard, that's G-E-R-A-R-D underscore G-O-N-Z-A-L-E-Z at IICSN.org. Bye. I just want to let you know that during this video, Iron Man was not harmed in any way whatsoever. But for a bonus points, can you tell me how many superheroes I had up on standing to my sides?